Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, my name is Jade, and this is How to Happen iOS. And today, finally, it's here. It's Riffler, 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 Riffler. It's fucking Riffler, man, and it's fully AUV3. I can't wait to get into this app today. This update is huge. But first, we're going to kick off with a song by an artist who's incredibly cool himself. This is Mike Shayner. He just dropped this a couple of hours ago. This is Put Together Again. And it is, I agree with Mamsie, 100%. Who wrote there in the chat? It's really good to see Mike back. And that song just dropped on YouTube a couple of hours ago. Hit me in the feels, man, because I'm feeling exactly the same way, going through some stuff, health stuff. And and so is Mike and many other people are too. So, you know, keep a thought out for everybody because there's a lot of people dealing with shit at the moment. It just is what it is. And um, look, if there's one person I would kill to get on this show for an interview. I've asked him to come on and I respect him completely. I would love Mike to come on the show for an interview. You can't have everything, can you? Who knows? Maybe it'll change. We'll see. Who am I? I'm Jade. This is How to App on iOS. So every day we take a look at apps, creating music, videos, mental health and well-being, um, interviews with great artists and talent, 
and on the weekend, occasionally a uh, a live performance. And we got a really cool live performance this weekend with Jamie Mallinder performing live on this channel. And it's going to be sick. I want to welcome the Wart Warriors for a dollar a month. You can become a Wart Warrior and you get all the cool emojis that are over there in the chat. Somewhere, where is it? Over there? I don't know. You get cool emojis and we do a special show once every five weeks. That's a private quiz show or a roast or whatever we choose to do. We do some fun shows that are for private members. Let's say hello to you all here today. I'm really excited, man, because this app today is sick. It's really sick. G'day, Mamsy. Blue eyes. Baby's got blue eyes. Hey, Russ. Thomas Christ is here. Leela, who just had a premiere of her song on her channel and her show beforehand, which is just getting better and better and better and better and better, just like she is. Um, Nino Beats, what's going on? Deep Gravity's here. Andy Goldsby. Cold Acre. Davros. <laughs> uh, Gregory O'Sullivan. Why am I so excited today? Because this app that we're playing with is sick. Sean Chandler is here as well. Uh, who else do I see? I'll try and get everyone. Marcus Cannell's in bed, but we'll listen to the show. Uh, JJ Bling 3, hello. And I think Kim was here. And we've got, of course, Jonathan is here as well, the developer of today's app, Riffler. And he's an awesome dude too. Hey, man, if you can't play guitar and you've always wanted to, welcome to the, you're at the right show because this thing is Hey, Cy, effing good to see you. I see you down below there. I think Kim was here as well. She's doing dishes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Good job, Kim. I think we've covered uh, most people. If I've missed you, I'm a dick. Um, all right, this app is for lots of people. It's really, really cool. Flick over here. Uh, Kim's there. Conspiracy, what's going on? Let me silence my phone. What's going on, Clay? I'm going to try and make a song today with this. I'm going to try and make a full death metal song with this. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit over time today, but I want to go through everything that's here. This update is huge. All right. But first we'll cover this stuff. Uh, so price drops. We looked at these yesterday. Nothing's changed from yesterday, really. Synapsis is free. Grab it. Borderlands Granular is a, a massive saving of like 10 bucks. Uh, Yukawa 6x806. All of these uh, uh, guitar school apps are on sale. These uh, teaching apps. Audio Evolution Pro Studio on sale. VA Drum 2, Poly, Mono. And um, over the page, I'm not going to go over there, but there's all the session band apps and all Nembrini apps are on sale as well. Two, boom, we're looking at Riffler. Now, I'm a little bit late because it was on, it did have a, uh, I think it was a cheaper price, but it's gone up in, in my lateness in getting to it. So it is $12.99, but let me tell you, it's worth every goddamn cent and more. Just believe me. You're going to believe me anyway. I've, I did a show on this previously, ages ago, and um, it was awesome then, but it's it's even awesomer no, 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 now. So... First, uh, last night I was dicking around and thought, let's just see if I can make a metal track, I don't know, in about 10 or 15 minutes in GarageBand using this. So it's what I did. And we'll kick off and play it, shall we? Now, there's no bass in here. I, I just was just trying to get some drums down and some riffs. And we'll have a play. It only goes for about a minute or two. Are you ready to have your face smashed in? Now, this is no guitar. There's no guitar on this at all. I'm not playing all my guitars. I have all these guitars sitting here. I didn't even pick it up. Yes, didn't even touch it. I just added, I played some drums in on my drum kit. And this is what I come up with. Yeah, it's a bow 
Hey, guy. <laughs> boom. Boom, 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 boom. So it took me like 10 to 15 minutes to just smash that out. Now, I can spend a lot more time on it um, and make it even better. Yeah, uh, it needs some bass, definitely. But I could play some bass along to it if I want. You know, there's so many options. Let's close out a garage band and we're going to open it up as a full standalone version first. And we're going to go through. Okie dokie. Here's the new interface. Look at this thing. It's it's so nice. It's got such a brand new, sparkly, sexy interface. I really dig it. It's It's so much more user friendly. There's no doubt about that. Everything's just laid out so much more spacious. Um, yeah, there's just just roomy. I, I really, as soon as I opened it up, I was super impressed by the new interface. Everything is controlled down the side here. So here is your main uh, page where you design your riffs. Yeah, uh, along the side here. Then we can go in here and mess around with the melody, uh, the rhythm of the riffs, the gaps, the a motif, the trip, change it to triplets, 16ths, eighths, metal, or change the tune. We can change the tuning anywhere we want, really. So we've got our tuning. We'll cover all that. Uh, then we can go in and change how long we want it to go for, where we want the bar to end. Um, it, we can put diddly bits in there. We can put runs in there. We can put the run range and blues runs. I mean, this thing is fucking off the tap. Then, how cool, we've even got amp sims. Goodness me, can you put any more in here? I know, I'm going to get greedy and ask for more at the end of the show. I don't know how possible it is, but we've got amp sims in here as well. Look, we've got clean, crunch, drive, fuzz. Man, <laughs> it's, it's too much. It's too much. There's delay and a reverb. We can humanize and, and make you playing poor. Yeah, so you can uh, like make it a bit sloppier. And you've got, you can change to a harmony as well. In the standalone, we've got drums in here as well. And uh, we can control our MIDI because you can export these riffs as MIDI as well. We've got some settings, which aren't too complicated at all. And if you get lost, there's a very, very decent help menu here, which just goes through everything nice and big. It's all built in. It's lovely. So there you go. Shall we start with the top here? So you've got these two um, little arrows are going to be your friends when you open this up because uh, you can redo and undo, redo and undo. I, I don't know how many times. Maybe John will let us know in the chat how many redos and undos. There's a lot. I did it. I did it probably about, I have to be about 40 undos last night. <laughs> and it just kept going and going and going and going and going and going. So there's a lot, a um, hundred undos, <laughs> Jesus. So I'm guessing there, there's a hundred redos as well. So you can go back, forward, back, forward, back. Um, all right. Now I think I've already got something in here if I hit play. So down the bottom here as well, this is where you your controls are. This is where you can just create something. This And there's a difference between create, obviously, and random. So create, once you've chosen, you can go up here and choose a scale and a tuning and, you know, a, a style of guitar. Hey, JDL, what's going on? Um, a style and all this stuff. And then you can hit create and it will change around what you've chosen. Then you've got a random, which just gives you whatever, of course. Yeah, random. We've got play, stop, and we can save our um, riffs as riffler files and we can load them in as well. So if I hit play, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeebus. Um, there's a lot of guitar stuff out there that doesn't sound good. This sounds good. Uh, plus you'll see later, uh, you can like take off the amps and play it clean and then add a guitar sim over the top as an AUV3. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. Let's just hit play. 
turn it down a little bit. And we'll go through some of these presets. So we're on, we're on rock at the moment, all right? So when you select a category, you'll see the presets change over here, yeah? So we'll stick with rock and we'll just click through these. So it's not all death metal. <laughs> and I might like want to change up the, the amp sound of this. <laughs> Wicked. Pretty complex stuff. And you can see you've got your tablature here, so you can see what's going on. You can see we've got chords happening, got single notes. You hey, wait, you can even do bends. It's sick, man. So I can hit create. I can hit create while we're on this and see how it slightly changes a bit. What you can also do is while we're here, we'll talk about this. See these little padlocks up here. I might, I might want to do a create and, and try something different and I can lock these. So I can say the first half of this riff here is now locked. And then I want to lock the second half of this and say this one and this one. And then when I hit create down the bottom, it's going to keep those and only change everything else that's uh, set to unlock. So I've hit play again. Let's change the complexity up a bit. We can unlock these again. You can actually lock the whole lot too. So now, so now if you make a mistake and accidentally change something, this won't change. You can, so you can lock the whole lot. So just to be safe, you know, because but guess what? There's still a hundred undos if you do. And the undos are great. Uh, to unlock. You just click, so you've got lock and unlock here. And with these undos, look at this. I can just go back, 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 hit play. We'll go back through these. It's pretty cool. Shall we check out some hard rock? Some grunge? I notice there's some bends in there as well. See this little B down here? This is a bend. We can actually go in and add more bends. We've got a little bends button. Got 
and add some vibrato. We can take out all the chords all together. Or we can bring the chords back in. Let's change the drive up to a... I'm getting ahead of myself. Neoclassical. Let's make this heavier. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Let's give it a... Um, a vulgar display of power sound, Pantera. Oh, dude, if it comes out on Mac, heaven. Where were we? Prog rock? A bit of prog rock. Yes, Thomas, look at that. See that? So when you click on a note, look, it brings up a full editor. You can add bends to it. You've got, see that? You've got a half bend, a vibrato, FM power chord, a palm muted. It's sick, dude. <laughs> it, it's out of this. It's out of this world. It's nuts. And you can change the note, so you can change the note. See, as we change the notes here, it goes up the scale. It's really good for thirteen bucks. You, you, I mean, you know, for ideas if you are a guitarist. Ideas if you're not a guitarist. If you're not a guitarist, fuck. Goodbye, um, garage band guitar. And there's plenty of presets to play with. Yeah. What's going on, G Main? Dude, uh, John, as soon as I see the word vulgar, <laughs> I know it's Pantera. <laughs> Mind you, one of the worst gigs I've ever seen in my life was <laughs> the Pantera show I saw. It was so shit. But anyway, that's another story. Um, all they did was throw joints out to the crowd. It was like, just play the tunes, motherfuckers. Uh, so we got some classic rock. Now, you can change the tuning as well. So we have the tuning. You can go an E standard. Drop D, E flat standard, C sharp standard, C, B, drop A. My Lord, you can go low, man. You can go low. And you can go high. So we've got E standard. You can lock it to a single octave as well. Tuning button. Sick. Plus, notice at the top here, we've got these notes going along the whole riff. We can go in here and click our manual section and we can decide what key we want the song in as well. <laughs> so if you've got a key change in a song and you want to keep the same riff, easy. 
you've got progressions as well. So let's click. Here's our progression. So if you click on scale, you're given these modes. So you've got pentatonic, blues, blues. Harmonic minor. <laughs> Chromatic. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Then you've got modes. So you've got your major, Dorian. It's nuts. Plus, you get a whole bunch of progressions down here as well. So we've got a rock progression. a blues progression. Our metal progression. <laughs> Almost sounds a bit Nirvana. And we've got our manual uh, progression as well. So you can go up here as well can change these sections. So we can go E, we can change this to a B. It's really deep. It's crazy. Plus you've got arpeggios, majors, minors. It's just too much. Too much your head will explode. Glam rock. Some psychobilly. <laughs> There's no harmonics. Yeah, sorry, I missed that. What's going on, Dan, as well? A bit of rockabilly. And you can speed up your tempo as well, too. So when you click on your metronome up here, we can... Southern Rock. <laughs> Man, this is sick. Even surf music. go. I hope you're in for a long one today. <laughs> I'm going to cover every bit of this app. It's wicked. we got bass lines too. So those are all just presets, yeah? We got the funky. A bit of funky stuff. AUV3 guys and show you just how even more powerful this thing is. So you've got clean guitars in here, delays, the 
even exotic sounds. Let's go through some metal, shall we? So we've got metal, let's do some groove. Bit of thrash. So let's let's go around and mess with some of the stuff in here. So in our second tab, we'll mess around with this one here. We've got a melody, range, rhythm, gap, and motif. Let's turn up the melody full and see what happens. So you can have a nice mix of melody in there with your chugger. You change the range. So we're just more on the sixth string. Turn up the rhythm. Yeah, Mark, you can go in here and you can individually change notes to whatever you want. And then you can lock them. So absolutely. We can put some gaps in there. It's wild. So we're on eighths at the moment. We can go to sixteenths. Get some chugga chugga chugga. <laughs> what about some triplets? Yeah. Fuck yeah. We've got a funk in here as well. And our metal. And we've got this motif button. <laughs> Fucking sick. So I'll, I'll scroll to the next one where we've got some bends. We can add bends in here. Yeah. So the motif changes how repetitive the riff is. There you go. We can add some vibrato. You can hit, especially hear it in those bends. And turn these single notes into chords. We've got some muting. You can hear, hear the difference too when you pull the muting right down. Tremolo picking. What the fuck? <laughs> How cool is that? Mid range. <laughs> bit, of, bit of death metal. And now ultra fast. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wicked. So we've got our bar end. I'm going to take both of these out. So you can decide where your 
where bar four ends bar two. Let's give some, let's put some runs in here. <laughs> and change the range. <laughs> Sick. So more bluesy runs. Six tuplets, let's turn those on. <laughs> That's wicked. So we've also got amps here as well. Let's, uh, we're set to the drive at the moment. Let's go to tight. Tight two, that's what she said. Got a couple of scoops. So got this uh, the choice to have this in mono or stereo so now we're in mono let's go back to stereo and we can make harmonies let's go to our runs how's those harmonies and runs We can harmonize this as well, uh, humanize, sorry. So it's a little bit off a little bit because, you know, people don't play perfect. We're not machines. There's some delay in here. Go to some doom. <laughs> we'll change the amp to a scoop. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a reverb too. Wicked is that riff? Right on, no one I will all say to you, you fucker. <laughs> Sick. A bit of a bit of metal core. What about some degen?
There's so much good shit in here. <laughs> We've even got leads. Just by hitting create, just by hitting create, you get something else. So you can also um, create bass lines in here too. So the one one good way to create bass lines in here, if I go to say we we'll go back over here and find um, Rowie. Uh, was it classic rock? It was one of these. Um, what have we got? Thrash. Let's give it some chords. So you'll see with some of these you've got chords. Um, where are we? Find the right place. Where am I going? So we can pump these chords up, right? So if I like this, but I and I and I, you know, keep this as a guitar riff, and I'm in GarageBand, I turn this into a guitar riff, and now I want to turn it into bass. This is what you would do. So you would go in here in the standalone. You can do this actually in the the AUV3 as well. So you can turn down the chords, and now we've got a bass line. Of this, yeah. So this is now. Uh, there's. It's all single notes, and in this little drum section here, we can go in and we can export. We can change this as well. So we've got voicings here as well, and uh, the th this is the octave. So you can change the MIDI octave here. I can turn this right down to minus one, two, right. So these are our octaves, and it will save it as whatever you want. So it can be a zero octave. Um, and this voice too, when you turn this down, this takes, this makes sure all the, all the power chords are out of there. Yeah. So we're just getting single notes. So I can do that. You can change the, uh, you don't need to change a MIDI channel or anything. Uh, so you can change the velocity of the mutes and the velocity of the main notes. And then once you've set this up, right. And you want to exit, you want to do an export of say the MIDI of the, this is a baseline. You click on the cog here and hit export MIDI. And it tells you the BPM of it, what you could name, you could, I think you can rename it if you want. You can click up here, rename it, whatever you want. And I've created two folders myself here, just called riffs. If I can find it, it's, it's a letter R, isn't it? Mm. Um, so riffs. And hit save. And then I can just import that MIDI file into GarageBand or wherever I want. And that's made a bass uh, a riff. So while we're here on the settings, we have this really cool endless mode as well. I'm going to turn this on and go over back up here and hit play. Watch what happens. Pretty sure that's all I have to do. It changes. So every time it gets to the end of the bar, it changes to a new riff. How cool is that? Gives you a nice variation. Really wicked. Nice little feature in there. So that's our endless mode on. You can update the riff on parameter changes. So we'll turn this off. Uh, you can rewind audio on changes. This is where you export your MIDI. Now, back in the older versions of this, there were uh, files that were riff books. And uh, so if you have older, uh, some riff books saved um, and old, and old um, MIDI, uh, old uh, riff saved, you can import these. 
Uh, they are different files. I won't go too much in, into this, but I will recommend you go over to um, to uh, John's channel. Um, maybe Thomas can uh, put John's channel in the in the chat for us, and he's got a video especially on importing and exporting old riffs and riff books and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's just cover the lock parameters here because you can unlock all of them and you can lock all or unlock and you can go in here and lock certain things that you don't want to change when you create a brand new riff. Yeah. Thank you so much, Leila, for doing that. Um, so you can really go in here and I'll lock the six tuplets, the runs, the sustain, the chords. I don't want any of these to change when I create a new riff and they won't change. So, or you can just hit unlock all and now they're all open. So again, many, 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 many different ways to uh, use this. It is just fucking incredible. It really is. It's a fantastic app. Um, uh, I can't, I can't praise it enough. It's too good. Um, all right, so shall we open it up? Uh, oh, you also, if you're blind like me, you can zoom in. You've got a little magnifying glass here, fancy pants. So you can zoom in if you want to do all that stuff. So, yes, one of the major updates, apart from all this beautiful UI and beautiful new features, is, yes, it is a UV3. Um, you can load uh, your uh, riffs as well. So I've got one here if I load this riff. This is a riff I saved. And you can save riffs as well if you like them. You can save them really easy. This was one I saved. Yeah. <laughs> How good is that? Fuck yeah. And to save one, it's super easy. You just hit save. Find your folder, which mine's riffs. And boom, save it. Cool beans. Too easy. Let's shut it down over here. And um, I'm going to open up AUM first. And then we'll go over to GarageBand. Because. Let me show you something I made earlier. Very quickly, again, it's very easy to make stuff very super quickly with this. So what have we got? We've got three instances of Riffler running right now. Um, and we've got four instances. Four instances. Why have I got four? All right. So um, now you notice one of these is turned down. This one, and it's muted. So these two are muted as well, but these are um, Harmony Riffs I've, I've added in. And we've got a base, uh, we've got um, BS Assist 16i running in here with a finger base in here. And what I've got happening is this is sending MIDI out to BSI, right? So if we go to uh, Inputs, Riffler, number two is sending over here to create some bass. If I solo it, it's not always going to sound perfect, but in the mix, it sounds great. In GarageBand, man, these sound great. Because GarageBand's got a really realistic bass sound. So you, uh, now, you can send these riffs not only to something like bass, to piano, to any app you've got. Synth stuff. Th th Use your imagination. And I've just opened this as a normal audio track and just gone ahead, pulled the volume down. Because if I, I pull the volume up here, you're going to get, um, let's solo it. We've got the guitar in there as well. Which I, that's fine. But I've already got another guitar happening. Yeah. <laughs> going on Pete Johns
All right. So what's the trick I've got running through this one? Let's have a look. Here's the beauty of this. Uh, here's one of the many thousands of beauties of this app. So uh, in this first instance, if we solo this, I am, uh, and we'll take out this and we'll play. I have no amp on this. So we'll go in here. And when you see, here's the, this is the full standalone virtually as an AUV3. So when we go into our amps, I've turned off all the amps. Got a bit of reverb on there. There's our riff. And in our effects rack, I've put in Rhino. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I'm speechless, man. It, it sounds incredible. You, you can definitely get away with using this to make an, a, a serious metal track. And no one would know the fucking difference. You know what I'm saying? You could send this into Glenn Fricker and he'd be like, oh, my God, this is great. <laughs> but Rhino, yeah, we've talked about Rhino. It is the best pedal uh, on uh, iOS, in my opinion. But, again, you can use Tone Bridge, whatever you like. Uh, say in this one here, let's solo this one out. So we've got... <laughs> So this one, I'm just using the uh, built-in cab, but let's make it clean. So we've just got a clean sound now. You can load up Tone Bridge, whatever you want. Tone Bridge. Which is free. Let's give it a terrorizer tone. Give it some, let's give it some chords. Need some chords. Sick. So you can add anything you want because it's AUV3, baby, and you can you can add any effect you want, chorus pedals, you name it, and get that killer tone happening. So um, we, we've seen it now working as an AUV3. You can see how you can send it to other apps. See, I could go in here and change this out to a piano just for fun. Yeah, and then we'll solo this baby out. We'll solo this one, sorry. And... Let's mess with this a bit. What can we do? Um, send it to anything you want so obviously sending midi um uh, from from riff riffler into other instruments you can do in obviously things like uh nano studio um cubasis aum anything that allows you to send midi to another track no garage band doesn't do it but i'm going to show you my workaround how i use it in garage band to make a track yeah so we've covered that Let's, uh, we'll close out AUM for now. And shall we jump into GarageBand? I'm sure I've got another project I was working on last night. Oh yeah, what's this one?
So I basically, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll start from fresh so I can show you how I like to use this in GarageBand. There's multiple ways you can do it. It's a little bit of a workaround, but you know, it's we're on iOS. If you're not used to workarounds by now, I don't know what to fucking tell you. iOS is a constant workaround, isn't it? And you've got to be inventive. That's that's part of the beauty, I think, of iOS. And part of the frustration sometimes is that you have to think outside the box to make certain things happen. And so, you, you know, I think iOS music creators have big brains compared to <laughs> PC users because <laughs> we have to think so much more. All right, so uh, to kick off a Riffler track, uh, you go into an instrument. External, and we want to go to audio units and find a riffler. There it is. Now I know the usual story. Story, if you've been following my channel, yes, I know my garage band takes ages to load the initial track. I don't know why. It is what it is. It's weird. It's weird. It does it. We can have some thinking music. Um, Um, so here it is now in a garage band and you may be going, oh, I can't see that. It's too small. We've got our little arrow here, which makes it full screen. So again, full, full version, full version. You can save stuff in here as well. I think the latest update. Yeah, look, it works. So there was an issue with the initial release, but John just did an update, uh, today or a few hours ago, which now has fixed this save and load. So from within GarageBand, you can save and load your riffs if you want to. Okay, we could do that right now. Let's load uh, this one here. Was this it? Ba Boom. And we hit play. Simple. Cool. So here's our initial riff. And I want to record this in. I want to record this into our first track. So all I, all I need to do is hit record, right? Cool. There's our first riff. If we jump back over here, you can see there it all is in its MIDI. Okay. Now I'm happy with that. That's cool. But what I want to do is go back in here and I want to remove the amp. I want to make it a clean amp. So we'll go to clean, dry. So now when we play this back, sweet. So we've got a clean amp and uh, I will make, keep that full screen. Now I want to add, of course, I want to add some serious distortion to this. So we're going to jump over here to plugins and EQ, uh, hit edit. Then we're going to search for what else? What else are we going to search for? But of course, Rhino, because Rhino is the balls. Rhino. And we'll jump into Rhino and I'm going to grab preset reactor. Let's just go with reactor. And now when we hit play. <laughs> let's go to the EQ. Cool. So there we are. There's our riff. Um, what have I done here? So we want to go, uh, what do, 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 do. we want to go here. Nine bars. <laughs> So let's just go in here and change this to eight bars for now. Thank you. And chop that off. So there's our whole riff. Now, the problem is I can't change this. I can't go in and do the next riff. So I'm going to have to bake this in. How do we bake this in? Let's just go in here, touch, touch on the track, and I'm going to hit merge and select that channel and hit merge and let it do its thing. 
and we'll merge this out so we're baking in that rhino scent. And look at that. Boom. <laughs> Cool. Let's get out of there because I want to do something else first. So notice I, I did a redo there. Okay, I did a redo. And what I'm going to do first is actually, now that we know how to record this in, I'm going to get rid of this because we can do this guitar uh, at another stage. Let's first, we'll go in. So I'm working backwards now. We'll turn off Rhino, turn off this EQ. We'll delete this. We'll delete this. Okay. And we've still got this riff saved in here, but what I want to do is I want to save a bass track first. I want to I want to make sure I've got the bass. So we're going to go in and take out these chords. So we'll click here and we'll rip these chords out. So we need now just got single notes. Sweet. Nice. Now we're going to go and re-record this again. Um, did I go over that? Let's just uh, get out of here. Oh, I did, didn't I? What a dick. Let's, uh... I always do that. I'm going to just do this. Go to our automatic and we'll record that again. It's got a bit of a Pantera feel happening. Now there's our, our bass riff. So what are we going to do with this bass riff? All right, we're going to create a brand new instrument and we're going to go over here to our keyboard, our synth and choose main categories, other and find the bass. We'll go with a picked bass just for now. And now all I have to do is take this, whoops, take this and drag it and now got a bass and we can change this to whatever we want just gonna mute the other riffler bit behind with that one we've got it muted Liverpool. I'm going to go with the picked bass. It's a bit bouncier. We can add some. So there's our bass. That's in there. Now we can go back here to our, our riffler. All right. And uh, let's open the riffler back up. And now we can add our chords back. So let's go back over to our chords. Put these back in. And now we can add our rhino. And now we can add, now we can add some variation to this riff. So it's a bit more, bit different. See where I'm going. You see where I'm going with this. Or we can go back to where we were. All 
Right, so watch what I do here. This is important, especially if you're using this method. I'm gonna make a clone, a duplicate of this. Okay, I wanna keep, I wanna make a duplicate because one of these I'm going to merge and turn into a merged audio track that once it's baked in, I can't change it. So by making a duplicate beforehand, I still have a track that has the exact same riff to go around and mess with more and maybe make a harmony of this and do a second guitar track with a different tone. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's go, we'll mute this and we'll stick to this first one. We'll go back here and we'll hit record. Uh, make sure we've got all our tones on, uh, our plugins. Yep, we've got Rhino in there, everything's sweet. So now we can hit record. Cool, now that that's done, there's our MIDI. Right, so now we want to bake this in and turn it into an audio track. So again, I'm going to click on here, hit merge. Just merge, so you tick the little box here. So we're just merging one track. Now it's going to bake in the EQ that I set and the distortion. But you'll notice once it does it, that original riffler is gone. So it's now replaced with this. So that's why I made a duplicate. So I can go in here and now mess around with the same riff. Yeah, so it's all still there. So now, when we when this is still muted, we can go and hit play. Yeah. I could even click on this original track and just keep the same riff, right? But change the tone up. We could we go in, sorry, we'll go into, uh, go over here, go into Rhino and we'll change tones. So we've got the same riff playing and then we can pan them hard left and right. Uh, what do we do? We'll choose uh, this debug one, I think it is. So we've got a different tone. So once again, I'm going to duplicate this. And now that we've got a different tone here, yeah, uh, I'm going to merge this one. So it's a, it's a little bit of work, but trust me, uh, please select one. one, 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 one hey, 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 what? Using merge, hang on. I only have to choose one. Please select one or more tracks that contain a recording. Or, oh, shit, I've got to record the riff, don't I? <laughs> what a dick. Uh, let's record that riff in. <laughs> Sweet. So we've done that. Now let's merge this sucker. We'll hit merge. And we've got our second uh, riffler there. Now, this is where things get fun. So it's the same riff, right? Now we've got two of the same riff, but now we can go into our settings here. We can start doing some panning. So let's pan that one there, pan this one here. Now, should have two different tones. And now we can go in here and take this original riffler and we can mess with this and uh, let's make like a uh, something a bit more melodic. So we can uh, go in here, look for some melody. Uh, it's in here. Let's add a bit of melody to it.
right? You get what I'm saying, what I'm throwing down? So now again, I'll make another copy of this just because it's worthwhile to do this. And it's, it's an interesting way of doing things, but it works. Trust me, <laughs> you've seen it come together. Then we'll add some drums. So now we'll uh, focus on this one here and we'll hit record. Did I get that one in time? Did I get it all? Yeah, I did. So now we have that. Let's uh, let's uh, change the tone of this. So we'll just uh, put this on solo. We'll jump in here to our Rhino. Let's just go with uh, what have we got. We've got a Degent. <laughs> This one, oh, that's nice. Sweet. So again, I'm going to merge this. Let's hit merge. Boom, boom. So now we've got three tracks of guitars that are all merged. We've got a bass track. Everything's all done. And you can go ahead and do each section. So for this particular riff, though, I want this to come in halfway through. There we go. So we've got that. We'll bring that in here. We can add, and again, you can go in here and maybe add some reverb to it because you've got all this room to add effects. We'll add like a black hole or something. We'll pull it down a bit. Uh, B, 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 E, black hole. And we'll take out the size and the mix. So we'll solo this just to hear it. <laughs> Now we're starting to get somewhere. So you can see we can do this in parts as well. Uh, we can, once we've got a whole section done, then I can uh, go in and add a, another section of eight and we can start with the next riff. So really interesting way to build songs, but I love challenging myself to do this kind of stuff. Let's add some drums, shall we? You've got options with GarageBand, of course. You can add an auto drummer to make it simple. Let's just do that first. We'll go in and pick Anders, of course. Let's see what Anders does to this song. solo Anders out and we can go in here and create our own drums because you can do your own drums. You can plug in an E kit if you want, of course, with GarageBand or you can choose your own kit. Let's just choose the Sunset kit. Turn on my MIDI keyboard. So, or you can use the touch. Let's uh, go back to the start and hit record. And that, that's probably quantize itself. And then we could uh, open up this and edit it. We can add our own symbols and crashes if we want. So we can go put a crash there, put a crash there, put a crash there, put a crash there. We can add some hats. Da, 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 da. Let's just put some hats in here. And then we'll put maybe a ride for these ones. Look how quickly, quickly we can do this. 
And maybe uh, here we'll put some toms in quickly. Let me just zoom in. And now we have... What can I say? Easy peasy beneasy. Um, you can get super inventive with this shit. Uh, and see, now that we've got this whole section here, we could hit the plus up the top here. And remember, see how I've kept this extra copy of Riffler up here? Always duplicate before you, do, you, uh, you mix this out. And then you've always got one here that has the same riff going on. Yeah? And uh, so now we can go into our song, uh, our bars here. And we can turn off automatic and we can add, put this up to 16 bars and it automatically continues this on. So now we could like select these, set our marker on the point and now we can just cr cr uh, do a split, Boink. delete and we're ready for our next section to start recording because we've got Riffler waiting here. We can change the bar, the, the, the note. We can create a brand new riff. Let's, uh, what were we on? We're on, uh, let's go to uh, like uh, extreme, we're on doom. Let's use a doom. <laughs> Good. So again, that's where you start the process again. This is where we'd start recording our next section in. And of course, we want to start with the bass first, don't we? Yeah. So all we need to do is uh, uh, we'll just make sure we've got our effects turned off. The Rhino here. Uh, now we go into Riffler, start the whole process again. We've got chords. So we want to remove these chords. And now we've got single bass notes. And now we can hit record. And now there's our bass. We can drag this down. And here's our bass line. Let's solo it. Wicked. Set our marker. Go back into Riffler. Let's bring these chords back up. And um, go back into our settings. Turn back on our visual and our rhino. Hit record. Love that sound at the end. It's so glorious. Right. So now what do we got to do? Now that we've got our second part in, we need to mix this down. We need to merge it. What am I going to do first? Duplicate that sucker. And now I'm going to merge this. Hit merge. Let it do its thing. It'll bake in that, that tone. And it'll create a brand new track. So we're at the end of the show. I know it's been a long one, guys. So you can see it's, it's filled the whole thing. But what we can do is just slide this. And then we can drag this over. And we should be seamless. It's a bit lower the volume. 
And that was my fault because I, I mixed it at a lower volume. So you've got to remember that kind of thing. So we'll keep it down here for now. And what we can do is go in here and add our drums as we wish. Let's click on drums. <laughs> now, I probably did something wrong there along the way, which has created that weird noise, but you, you get where I'm going. So that is how we start building songs. I reckon this is good fun. I I've, I did this yesterday. Um, so, yeah, awesome. So we've got a project started here. I've decided I'm going to make a song 100% using Riffler only and the drums and the bass all through uh, the drums and bass through Riffler. And I'm going to uh, do vocals on it and I'm going to release it. Uh, I probably will um, mix it all down in, in GarageBand on iOS and then I will move it over to my Mac over here. Here's my Mac. And um, add uh, Spectre Sounds drums to it, Ellie. Uh, extinction event. And uh, yeah, and that will make the drums even sicker. What's going on, Moby Pixel? So yeah, we'll do that. And I'm going to release this song for Metalhead Hippie's uh, Month of Metal. And then I don't have to sit here and play any guitar or do any bullshit. I just play, all, make it all in Riffler. And I reckon it's going to sound sick. What's going on, Lee? So we can save that. And, and I've already made a start. You heard it. Uh, so the other thing to remember, when you're doing all these... Um, um, uh, merging, every time you merge, it creates a copy, right? Which is fine. GarageBand does this. Every time you cre create a merge, it creates a copy. And the reason it does that is just in case you fuck up. So I don't need any of these because I'm pretty happy with it. So you can actually select all these copies. Copy, copy, copy. And I can delete these. And now we just have our main track here. But as you heard in the beginning of the show, I've already started my uh, track. This will be my track for Metalhead Hippie's mom show, Month of Metal, which uh, it's sounding wicked. And actually, what I will do is um, I'll play the bass in here. I'll actually play the bass in because I, I want to play my uh, brand new bass that I got uh, last month, which is absolutely fucking sick. This beauty here. So I'll, I'll actually play the bass in for this. Uh, and it should sound sick. Because I think it's all in uh, C. When I put this together, it was all in C, um, so it's it's uh, down pretty low. I've got a vocal track here ready to go. No, they're not really deleted. That's a good thing to bring up, RG, because when you delete GarageBand projects or when you delete anything, always go to your files app and go to recently deleted and look, they're all still there. And you're probably scratching your head going, hang on a minute, I deleted all that shit. Why is my hard drive, why is my iPad still saying there's all this memory? Everything you delete goes here. So you hit select and you delete all. And guess what? Now it's all gone. Happy days. Good times. What do you guys think? $12.99. This app is sick. Absolutely sick. If you are a patreon of the show right there you can become a patreon for a uh, dollar a month you can join and i master your songs every weekend i uh, you can send me your songs and i'll master them um and if you join us five dollars or more you get a chance to win apps and you go on the the wheel 
And I think I've got three copies of this giveaway on the wheel this week and a whole bunch of other apps we're giving away uh, this week on the Patreon. Um, this app is fucking bananas. Absolutely bananas. John, you did a fantastic job. You, you smashed it out of the park. Can I offer a suggestion? What I would love, I, I don't know how easy it is to do. A song mode in here would be fucking bananas. To be able to take your riffs and build them in a song mode and, and put them all in a song mode and then just play it straight into something like GarageBand all in one go and then merge it would be sick. Would be absolutely sick. A song mode would kick ass. And then you could just do it all in one take and build your song in Riffler, open it up in GarageBand, psh, do it. And that would get around a lot of the struggle with uh, GarageBand because GarageBand makes it hard for everything, you know. It's just what Apple does. All right. What have we got coming up on the next couple of days? And uh, we'll run through that and then I'll let you all get the fuck out of here. Um, tomorrow, what are we looking at? Jesus, I can't even remember. We are looking at tomorrow. We're looking at Vitham Jr., which has had an, a massive update, a massive, massive, massive update. And Leela just did a premiere for her video and it was all made with Vitham Jr. I'm going to take you right through Vitham Jr., how to get the best video out of it because it is Rocktober making video clips this month. Um, then the day after we're looking at RRS iVox, which is an 80s uh, Russian synth, a mono and a duo mono, du duo, duophonic um, synth, which is sick. Uh, then we have, what else have we got going? Then we have uh, Thursday, your time if you're living outside of Australia, an interview with the amazing PA. She's a killer, killer musician from Germany. You're going to love it. Her music is amazing. And then on the weekend, we have a live performance here on the channel by Jamie Mallander. He'll be performing a selection of his original music. Both these, the interview and this show were sponsored by Distro Kids. It's going to be a big weekend of music. So hopefully you can join me for that. Hope you enjoyed the show today. If you're watching on a replay, whoa, wrong button. If you're watching on a replay and you haven't subscribed, hit the like. Please hit the like on the way out. If you haven't subscribed, do so. It helps the channel. And uh, thank you again to John for sending me uh, the apps and to demo this. Remember, folks, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. I'm Jade Starr. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.